Mm. And there's the guy. This is the guy in the truck right here. This is the guy. What's that? You decide what you're getting already? We're at... I'm getting these two. We're in, we're in oh, Jack yeah? in the Box. You're going for the... Two. Okay. What's on the window here? Brew house and the... Garlic, garlic fries. That was a good choice. Jack in the Box. Gotta go around the front. Jack in the Box. Let's go get some burgers. Exactly. Um, okay, 14. Looks like a bullet shot. Yep, welcome to California. That would be a bullet shot right there. Yeah, nice window. Nice repair. Oh, job. yeah. Nice repair. Yeah. Just put some tape on it. A little bit of tape. <laughs> that should do it. Next bullet. Next bullet's gonna kill us. Yeah, wow. That's some pretty thick glass, too. It's like, let's see, it's about an inch thick. And it went all the way through. So. Two of them. Yeah, is it two? It's two layers. Two shots? Two layers. Two, no, I mean, two layers of glass, right? Oh, it's two layers of glass, okay. And then all the way up to here. I'm more impressed. All the way up to there. I'm, it's I'm pretty impressive. With the repair job. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, the, the repair job. The repair it's very job. temporary. It's very impressive. Yeah, clear very tape. Impre it looks very and stable. Keep, keeps the mosquitoes out. It's good, huh? Welcome to California. Yeah. Dude's got it, just spilled his drink. Go get some napkins, hero. Come on. I'm gonna put my bulletproof vest on. Bulletproof, this will stop a bullet. Yeah. Okay, I'm good, guys. You don't have to worry. I'm safe, definitely safe. If another one comes through the glass, the glass right there, I'll be good. Okay, nice. That's not gonna do it. You're gonna need like 20 of those. Keep going. I'll eat your burger for you. Let's see what we got. Right. Just look at when in doubt. Look at the receipt, huh? So this is the this is Jack in the Box, and let's see what do we have here. We have the Bacon Ultimate Cheeseburger. I think I've had this before. It's five bucks. And what's the the big one right now that they're advertising all over town is the Brew House Bacon Burger and the Garlic Fries. Okay, so the total for this is is thirteen dollars and seventy nine cents. I guess not bad. All right, so this is we'll share the fries. I guess so they've also oh, given us oh. some ranch dressing for the for the for either the fries. fries? I'm not really sure the fries, or you can put it on the burger as well too. Show us those garlic fries. We can start with those. Wow. Yeah, that one's a little well done. It smells really good. Mm. Yeah, I think they mixed a couple of, these are the seasoned fries, they mix that in there. As soon as you open the box, you can smell, you can the, smell garlic. the garlic. You smell the garlic, it just yeah. hits you. I'm not smelling you. it. Oh, I'm smelling it, wow. Oh, <laughs> man, it's hard. These things are already soaked in grease. Major grease. Man, what does that do for it? Would you rather have ketchup? I'm actually just dressing pretty good. Dressing's pretty good. He likes dressing, ladies nah, and gentlemen. I think I'm just tired of ordinary ketchup. I see. Mm. Pretty hard to go wrong with ranch dressing. You can put it on anything, it tastes good, right? Mm. Yeah. Let me get a triple hit. You got your stuff together? You got your stuff together? I have my stuff together. The ranch isn't doing it for me on the on the garlic fries, no. Uh-uh. Milan's on a salad. That's just me. I would prefer mayonnaise and ketchup with my fries. That's what I like the best. All right. This is fascinating to me that I have the seat right in front of the bullet hole. This is fascinating to me. Better put my bulletproof vest back on again. Before I eat my burger. Yeah, get it tied up. Yeah, this is good, right? In case these guys drive by again. Some of my haters, actually, they're the ones that did this last night. Yeah. Eric Surf 6 haters. They're responsible for this. So, we're good. All right, let's eat. Oh, hey, he's eating. 
can I eat now? Yeah, that's called the brew house. The brew house burger. Brew house. Why do they call it brew house? I don't know. Because it's, it's stressing. a special brew. To, you get onions, bacon, tomatoes, lettuce, slice of lettuce. Anything and, on, and on the, the top salad. bun? And then What's salad. it dressed with? I don't know. I can't. Mm. Open it up. Come Tastes on, like man. ranch. These folks at home want to see. Ranch, more ranch. Oh, I like those uh, That's like grilled thousand, onions. Sounds like I'm smelling uh, Thousand Island dressing. Smells really tangy. Tangy barbecue. Oh, looks good. Ugh. I wish we had a camera person because I, I don't want to hold the camera. I want to eat. And take a couple bites before you say anything. Get all the way in there. Get, get I would bite right in there, this vicinity. Make sure you get like all the ingredients. There you go. God, it smells amazing. Yeah. Mm. I'm smelling the barbecue mostly, I think. Oh, and it's dripping. That's pretty nice when it's dripping. Um, Would you say that this needs any ranch dressing to go with it, or? Oh, it's actually, here, here it is. It's actually officially, let me focus. Okay. This dressing is called Buttermilk House Sauce, AKA Ranch. Also known as Ranch, Buttermilk House Sauce. Does this thing go on the? Burger? It could go on the burger, yeah. I don't know, the taste is kind of bold. It, does it need does it need more? It doesn't need more, it's just so meaty that you would like to have more. Like to have more what? Dressing. Oh well like, here, put it on. That's why they give you two. Go for that, man. Dress it up. You want anything else to go? I want me to ask what their other ones are? No, I think it's this comes with the burger. Right? I can ask if they have um like some other kind of dressing. No, I like ranch. Beefy. It's beefy. Really beefy. <laughs> hey, there's the guy. This is the guy in the truck right here. This is the guy. Yep. I think that was him. Maybe. Ford Bronco. I don't know. I think it tastes better with the dressing. It tastes better with the dressing, I he think. says. Oh. Okay. Is it, what does it make it more tangy? Just more, um, it makes it more like more juicy, juicy, more juicy. So it's it a little more soft. It's more easier to put it down your throat. Okay. So it's a bit dry. Is it? It's a bit dry because you got the bacon and the meat. Okay. Like, so you, need, you need more water or you want me to get you a, uh, a strawberry shake? Something like that. Yeah, nothing sweet. You're good, huh? I think I like it with the dough. You like it pretty good. Yeah. So it's the, how's the, like the hamburger meat itself? Hamburger meat, you little, don't really taste it. Little on the low quality the, side, or? No, you taste the bacon more. You taste the bacon more? Now you got my attention. You taste the bacon more, he says. Bacon has more. Now you got my attention. Yeah. You get more of the bacon than you do of the meat. More of the bacon than you do of the meat. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Opening up the buttermilk house sauce number two. Package, packet number two. Yeah, you know, you know, there's like 200 calories in that. There's, there's more in the two than the two of these, than there is probably in the whole burger. Did you guys know that? That's, that's how calorie dense the dressings are, especially these creamy ones. Did you guys know that? It's true. So that's probably 400 calories worth of dressing, and the burger itself is probably 400. So, yeah, it's not fair. Why is, why is, do dressings have so many calories? It's not fair. Not fair. That looks really good, though. Mm -hmm. So is that definitely upping the uh, the so, flavor, the taste? It's so creamy. It's so creamy. <laughs> okay. You keep working on that. I'll have I'll I'll clear these fries out. And stay with us, guys, because my burger is right here. I'm gonna show you. Just give you a sneak peek here. This is the ultimate cheeseburger. Ultimate bacon cheeseburger. Excuse me. Ultimate bacon cheeseburger. Got heaps of bacon in there. Two patties, three kinds of cheese. I think three pieces of slices of cheese, and it smells heavenly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so first he spilled his water. Now he's spilling his ranch dressing. This guy he needs to learn. It. Oh, my bulletproof vest. You spilled that. I lost that. my bulletproof vest. We get this back on. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Here we have some hot sauce. These are for the tacos. I might put some hot sauce and ketchup on mine, possibly. All right, so he's done. He's cleared it. Some ketchup on that? Ketchup, huh? It says, I like their little slogan. 
This one. Get your dip on. Get your dip on. Get your dip dip on. Yeah, and this one says hot taco sauce. It's hot for taco. Hot for taco. Let's give you a deluxe look at it now. Here we go, the bacon cheeseburger. This thing, it's just, it's heavy. All right, weighs a lot. So definitely the volumes here. Even though it looks like it's kind of smashed down, it's got weight to it. Definitely got weight to it. I love this, look at that. That's, I would call that pretty ultimate. That's a lot of bacon right there. Bacon and it's, I'm smelling mustard and mayo. Very good, and pickles, I'm smelling pickles too. So the slice of cheese on top of here. This one, there's so much cheese in between the two patties. Too slight, it won't even come apart. It's so cheesy in there. Oh, that's cheese heaven right there. Look at that. That just smells like pure cheese. Yeah, oh, yum. Yum, I haven't even had a bite yet. And look at that, nothing on the bottom. Toasted bun, very moist, I think. Feels like a piece of French toast. Maybe buttery. No sauce, first of all, let's just go for it. Comes out of the refrigerator, it's chilled. This is nice. Let's get messy, let's get jiggy with it. What was I just saying about this a few minutes ago? That it doesn't go with burger, it doesn't go with fries, is what I said, right? Yeah. Burger's a whole different animal, right? I mean, maybe, maybe. Yeah. It could be a mistake, I don't know. That might be too much. I think that's way too much. Uh oh. Now nah, it's only gonna taste like ranch. This might dressing. get messy, guys. No, it was just dry. It, just, it tasted dry, the bacon's a bit dry. And there's there's no other vegetables on this, so yeah, dry, fairly dry. Better. Mm. You know, it's hard to eat fast. Normally, I eat really fast, but this thing, it's got so much volume to it that you just you can't chew it fast and swallow it. You have to take your time with it, which I don't like to do. But just for meat, cheese, bacon value, it's perfect. That's what you really like, beef, meat, cheese. This is it, beef, meat, cheese, beef, bacon, cheese. Yeah, perfect, but I prefer some uh, vegetables on mine. So I would prefer some lettuce, some tomatoes, some pickles. I thought I smelled pickles on it, but there are none. Um, so yeah, maybe some avocado. I would like a little bit of a garden on my burger too. So that's just me. When I was younger, I used to like burgers like this a lot. Be all I could eat. I'm gonna need any vegetables, zero. And after I would eat something like this, I'd always be really super tired, fall asleep, take a nap. But if you eat more vegetables, you just you have more energy. Definitely, I can tell you guys that for sure. I mean, for sure, you know, this is a classic. The bacon, double bacon. What is it called? The ultimate bacon cheeseburger. It's a classic. It's been around for years. You know, anything that stays on the Jack in the Box menu for I don't know 20, 30 years, you know. Did people like it, so. It's definitely a thumbs up. But how many stars is it gonna be? Well, we're gonna add some hot sauce to it. Look at this guy, my cameraman is so lazy. My cameraman is so lazy, he's got his cell phone out in one hand, and he's got the camera in the other hand. And this guy is pathetic. If anybody would like to uh, send in a job application to be my cameraman, you might get hired, because this guy is ultimate lazy. Look at this. It's so boring this watching guy. you eat. No respect. <laughs> you say it yourself. You're part of the team, bro. <laughs> Make yourself useful. Go get me some more napkins. All right. Take the camera with you. All right, now you. All right, he's not that bad. He brought me napkins. That was fast. And you're, you know, you're in front of the bullet hole right now, and. I would put your bull bulletproof vest on. Get that on. On where? Underneath your shirt. Where else? It's a vest. Since you're sitting in the you're sitting in the bullet hole seat, you better get your yeah, get your bulletproof vest on. Come on. Get it on. It goes on to your shirt. Did you guys see a six pack? No, he didn't flash a six pack. Alright, now you can let's finish this thing up. Okay. What I'm gonna do for the last little bit, I'm gonna put hot sauce. Okay? I'm gonna get some hot sauce going on here. Yeah. Guy looks pretty seedy. 
He didn't have his rifle with him, though, so I think we're good. He's not packing. We're good. Okay, here we go. Ultimate. Since they do call this the ultimate bacon cheeseburger, we have the ranch dressing on it, we have hot sauce, and we'll top it off with a little bit of ketchup. A little bit of ketchup, and the rest of the ranch dressing. We gotta blow it out. Oh, that's all we're gonna get. Just go in there. Go in there and get it. We gotta dig for it. All right, and one more hot sauce to top it off. All right, and this, ladies and gentlemen, once again, is the Jack in the Box Bacon Ultimate Cheeseburger. Here we go. You go overboard. Here we go. It's totally overboard. We're not going overboard. Yeah, you, one totally, bite. you totally went overboard. Oh, wow. That is the perfect way to do it. Yeah, the hot sauce gives the ranch dressing a bit of bite. And then the ketchup sort of like kind of sweetens it up, it makes it more tangy. Got that ranch dressing, hot sauce, and ketchup. There you go. That might just be the magical, most magical dressing on the planet. Right. Finishing up, and I'm tabulating my numbers in my head right here. Okay, so I'm gonna rate this meal, the Jack in the Box hamburger meal. Um, I'm gonna give it a five out of six stars, five out of six. It was almost perfect, but I just thought that the burger should have been dressed a little bit more to begin with. It shouldn't have required me to put so much on it to make it taste right. But I mean, it tastes really good, so. I mean, it really, it's almost a six. It's worth doing, you guys, if you add your own stuff to it, for sure. And if you want a meaty bacon experience, it's a lot. It's it's pretty good. So and the, you know the price is right. It's only how much was it? Let's see uh, the price for the ultimate bacon cheeseburger, <coughs> bacon ultimate club, bacon ultimate cheeseburger. Five dollars nineteen cents. Five bucks. Not bad. Now it's time for the guy behind the camera. All right, All right go ahead. Give it your rating. I'll give the brew house burger five stars. Five stars five for the brew stars. house burger. Mm -hmm. All right, five out of six. That's pretty good. Yeah, and it's pretty good. Uh, it was a little. It's. Really beefy. If you like beefy burgers, it definitely you should go for it. The only thing is, it's a little bit dry, so it's you should add like a little bit of. Well, I think that's why these are for. You add your own yeah, yeah, that comes that comes with yeah, it. Yeah, you add it, and if you add this, it's fairly really good. I don't know why they put, they give you the dressing separate. They should just put it in there in the first place. Agreed. No, but Agreed. whatever. Yeah, it's a little bit dry, meaty. And uh, yeah, it smelled. The smell was yeah. The aroma, the aroma for both of these are amazing. He did. I, I when I was yeah. when I was filming him, I was so so hungry. And what do you think of the uh, these? The, were the garlic yeah, fries? How were these? Smelled awesome. Yeah, and the taste. Yeah, with these, better. Okay, so you're giving you're giving the garlic fries super, a five too. Your overall is a five. Super okay. greasy. I like these fries. They're so greasy. Okay, you wouldn't prefer uh, ketchup with the fries instead. Nah, I'm no? just, I think I'm just really? bored of ketchup. Oh, you're bored of ketchup. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's about it. That's going to wrap this one up, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs, whichever way you like it. Just do some kind of interaction with this video. We really appreciate it. You leave a comment down below if you like, and uh, tell us what you'd like to see us eat next. We're still in California for another, what, two, two weeks. So we got two weeks left. Let us know what other places you'd like to see us uh, try, sample, do an Eric Mealtime episode. Anything else? This is the dude's got it. In case you guys don't know, he has an Instagram. What is that? Zamelampan. Zamelampan. I'll put the link down below. And yeah, you can check him out over there. We've been doing a lot of shorty little videos. We don't have that much time for editing for this trip so much. So Yeah, not really. Yeah, little kind of short things. And I'm on Snapchat as well too. That's where I've been doing like most of my daily to daily stuff. But when we get back, there's going to be a lot of uh, video stuff that's coming. I've shot a lot of stuff. Just no, not much time for editing. So thank you guys for watching. On behalf of myself and Zamelanpan on Instagram, we'll see you in the next Eric Mealtime. <laughs>